first time coming to the stage, he's gonna be your, your host for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, from BET, Comic View, Deaf Comedy Jam, the nephew of Robin Harris, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Harris! Then he ain't looking at him, man. Devil on my shoulders, the Lord is my witness. So on my lever scale, I'm on your sins and forgiveness. Listen, that till you stop paying that shit? <laughs> This is my shit, fuck that. If you feel this shit, come on, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, that's my shit. Play it again, goddammit. Play it again. But I'm way Charles to the bullshit. I jump up on that dick and do a full split. Oh, oh y'all, take the shit, y'all know the shit. She just started to pop it for a nigga that looked back and told me, baby, it's real. It's real. Oh, listen, listen. And I say, I ain't got you for a second. I squeeze it and I can tell how I feel. I feel it. I wish we could take off and go anywhere, but here, baby, you know the deal. She bad, so maybe she won't, uh, but she ain't dead again, maybe she will. Yeah, right, I'm going for her. That's my shit. What's up, y'all? What's up, Dylan? What's going on, Dylan? We all good? I had a fucked up experience last night with this motherfucker, man. Went to a strip club last night. Eric Dunn took me to Shotgun Willies and then a bitch. I had a bitch stripper in there. I never seen a bitch stripper in my fucking life. This little bitch was all around that motherfucking car. Eric, you know, for real? This is the type of shit you do? Damn. Damn, bro. What's up? You taking pictures and shit? How many of y'all remember my Uncle Robin? You remember my Uncle Robin? Oh! Baby, it's a kid, it's a house party. People say, I live a little, 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 Hold on, 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 hold on. <laughs> Fuck Tim Tebow. Yeah. Real talk though, real talk, I think I'm gonna have a good season this year. Yeah. 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 If Peyton stays healthy, and the Saints don't put heat on this motherfucker, I'm gonna have a good season, man. Yeah. You're having a good time, you're eating and drinking and shit, how you doing, brother? So right up front, huh? Just like that, huh? Ain't it white? Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't even care. Hold 14 years. Hey, turn this mic down a little bit, because it's a little loud, hold on. You can adjust the mic a little bit. 14 years, huh? Wow. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Being married for 14 years, like having a DVD player with one movie, you've only watched it. <laughs> you gotta watch the movie like, all oh, day. You know everything the bitch gonna say, you know how it's gonna start, you know how it's gonna end, you know the rap. <laughs> nah. Congratulations though. Give him a get up there for 14 years and uh, I got my relationship with my old lady was lazy. She would lay like she went to work and shit. And this motherfucker would go to Blockbuster and rent movies and lay down on the couch and watch them and shit. Like she watching Shrek, she lay down. What are you supposed to do what they doing on that damn tape, bitch? You know, you get them to do something, sweat, do something. Shit. I'm like sweat. I'm like doing that. We have to do out here from uh, Houston, Texas, man. And... Eric put me on an airplane I never heard before called U.S. Scare. <laughs> and your uh, airplane, the plane just dropped. 
turbulence and shit, grabbing the back of the chair and shit, like that's gonna break your fall. We're here to roast Eric Young tonight. Eric motherfucking Young. Eric Young. How many of y'all really know this nigga for real? Has he bailed out anybody in the motherfucking? Yeah. Hell no. How many? I know you build your house out for real. Yeah, yeah. I met Eric, man. First time I came to Denver was like, Last year, I had a show out here last year with Eric. First time I've ever been in there in my life. I already can't breathe like a motherfucker. I'm already hard to breathe because I'm hot in the air and shit. I get in the nigga's car. Okay, we're gonna have this shit tonight, yeah? I don't speak Tangeray, goddamn. What the fuck did you say? <laughs> we were part of the show, huh? No, it's funny. It's a little white, you know, they better shut the fuck up. They didn't see it. <laughs> no, it's funny. I was playing. I was going to say No, I get off the plane. Just meeting this guy, Derek Young. Get in the car with this nigga. I said, man, what's it like in Denver? He said, it's cool. <laughs> nigga, it's cold. What you fucking mean, cool? He's like, yeah, you know, it's cool, but you know, I shot my neighbor yesterday and shit. Nigga, hold up, nigga, I'm just meeting you. You're supposed to give me all that type of information. You're supposed to tell me good shit about them, like the weed stores y'all got out here. Name of weed, nigga, bitch. You get to a goddamn grocery bag and go and make it what the fuck you want. For real, is it like that? You gotta have a party. See, I can't smoke weed no more. I stopped. I stopped because I got real high one day and had my son in the backseat of the car. My son was six years old. It was raining real bad. I just got a fucked up car with no goddamn AC, no motherfucking defrost, nothing. It was raining, so I couldn't see shit. I'm hot as fuck. I, know, I had some syrup, I had all kind of shit that I wanted to take. Some other shit too, but I wasn't really supposed to be on. I, I mean, I'm real high. I look in the rearview mirror and some lights was flashing and shit. I said, God damn. I pulled over and I sat there for 20 minutes. Nobody came to the goddamn one. I looked up, I see two more lights and shit. I said, God damn. That nigga done called for backup. My son playing, had the lights in the back of the shoes. You motherfucker, you! You gave me them goddamn shoes right now! Oh, man. Who the fuck bought you LA gear, nigga? You don't do LA gear around this motherfucker, man. I'm doing some fucked up shit, man. Like, like you ever been by yourself and like, on the elevator and fart real good? <laughs> if you stop at the second floor, bad bitch, while on the other end. Now y'all in this motherfucker together. <laughs> what else are we gonna fuck? To? You ever talk to a nigga breath, breath so bad you can't say nothing to him? <laughs> hey, Sean, what's up? Oh, wow. You ever been walking in the mall, a lot of people behind you, and you get an uncontrollable ass itch? <laughs> you can't just dig up in your ass and so you switch your walk up real quick. <laughs>
Eric, if you don't want your chair, hold up. Hand your chair. Do you use that your pilot chair, please? You gotta bring this thing up here. Yeah. Oh, Lord. You know you get big when you make noise bending down. <laughs> the regular people see me like, oh, shit. You know you get big when you sweat when you eat ice cream and shit. <laughs> I'd be nice cream, sweat like a motherfucker. Go swimming and just be sweat. <laughs> that chair is gonna be for the roast man. Very young, let me see. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, nah, just, just check some shit, just check some shit. I've been in the comedy game about 18 years, man. I've done a lot of shit. You know, accomplished a lot of shit on my own, a lot of TV shows and stuff like that. If you see some of the flyers on the table, this this movie I got coming out called Squatters. That's my comedy life story. What I went through to get to where I'm at today. So I've been around some celebrities and shit, and I try not to play the groupie role. You know, I try to act like shit. I'm the star too, back then. <laughs> one time, I met this one nigga that fucked me up. Rick Ross. <laughs> now, it was a fucked up situation because comedians, you know, we usually don't get first class seats. You know, unless you faith on love and shit like that. <laughs> I got a first class seat. I was in 3A. Sitting in 4A was Rick Ross. I walked on the plane, I'm like, God damn, that's the boss back there. He's sitting right behind me. I said, what's up, Rick? Nigga didn't take his shades off, he's what? <laughs> I sat down in my chair. This nigga decided he wanna have a seizure on the plane. Oh <laughs> fucked up, man. I'm sitting here, kinda like I wanna say something to this nigga, but I just don't wanna say nothing to this nigga. All of a sudden, they took my chair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did it again. <laughs> <laughs> nigga did it twice. <laughs> Look, this way, the nigga had white shit all in his beard and hanging out. He was sitting there talking about, huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> nigga having a seizure. I'm like, oh, ding, 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 start it. That's not even a joke. I can't even make that shit up. <laughs> yeah. Where Eric? Eric, where you at, man? Come here. Eric Young, bring your ass. Nigga, yeah. it's dark, man. Take the fucking shit out. Nigga, you almost fell out. You had a good time? This is a birthday boy. Give him a happy birthday, man. Eric, motherfucking yeah. You put your drink empty, nigga. You ain't got no drink. Fellas, you're up to sleep next to your girl. And you get up, and she ain't in the bed, she in the bathroom with the light on. And you realize you can't find your cell phone? <laughs> that bitch got that phone, god damn it. Got that phone. Damn it, you see my phone? <laughs> That's the worst feel in the world when the girl hand you your cell phone and say, here. <laughs> know some shit in there she ain't supposed to say. I met your uh, little boy the other day. Baby here, cute little kid. You show us his, yours? <laughs> you might have wanna go to more with that motherfucker. Now he got a cute little son, I got a son two years old. I'm trying to potty train this nigga. So I take him to the bathroom and I piss. He can watch me piss. And then he's be living in my dick. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna start snapping the piss water and shit. <laughs> You don't stop slapping my piss water. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? 
You still playing with your pistol? All the time. You let him do more than once, nigga? Shit, so one time he slapped it, that was it. Very young. Nigga told me some deep personal shit about him when I first met him. Like, nigga, you know, I've been out in these streets a long time in Denver, man. I only got one nut. <laughs> You only got one that nigga. What they call you lefty or righty, motherfucker? <laughs> you gotta sit there all night and take this shit like a man. You ask for it, you got it. How the fuck you gonna have a rose? You ain't never been on TV before. We never been. <laughs> Who the fuck is you? We roasting. <laughs> so without further ado, we're gonna start the rose. We're gonna make these comments up. Now, these people that he know, I don't know these people. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna bring them up, we're gonna do like a couple minutes and say what they gotta say about Eric real quick. Y'all give us some love, start clapping right now. And a roll for Eric now. I'm Derek Rush. Up and coming comedian that he knows around there, and I appreciate Eric for that. Thank you for motion. I called Eric one night. I was fucked up, locked up, needed to be bailed out and shit. I said, Eric, I'm fucked up, I need to hold something. He said, You get one of my baby mamas. <laughs> Eric got so many baby mamas. <laughs> <laughs> I see my five on me. Yeah. <laughs> when Eric take his kids to the zoo, he got to get a whole goddamn school bus. <laughs> he got so many goddamn kids. He wearing his sunglasses at night. Square toe, any monster shoe, you know. <laughs> we love Eric, though. We're going to keep it going for the next comedian. Y'all give Eric a round of applause. Happy birthday, Eric. Well, how you doing? <laughs> doing well. My name is Rosa Mariposa. Giving some love to the Eric over heels. Hey. You don't remember me, do you? It's not about a bitch. This guy over heels. He goes to the Roach Coach all of a sudden and asks for some hot sauce on his burrito.
back in the rug's belt, you got damn it. Told you to wait in the truck, what are you doing? You're going for my cousin, Rosa Mariposa. Damn, I didn't know you got down like that, huh? Oh, shit. Okay, neighbor, you took off your top gun glasses, man. You look cool for a second. Don't try like that shit, baby. Come on, let's hear it for Eric Young, everybody. Young mom motherfucking ass, boy. Shit, how old are you turning? 45 today? He said, no, I'm 33. I'm like, you're the same age as me, goddammit shit. Life's not treating you as good as it's treating me. I got excited when he came up and he seen me performing. I know who he was. He's like, man, I really like your shit. I was like, hey, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, and I see him here like four shows later. I'm like, fuck, this dude really likes comedy or he's somebody. <laughs> then I find out the fucker is a bell sponsor. And I was like, oh, yeah, I get it, shit. I asked him to smoke some weed. He's like, no, I'm like, I'm more blacker than you, fucker. What's going on? He asked for us, Adam, like 10 minutes behind schedule. I'm like, I'll be there in about 30 minutes, shit. And he's like, well, you're running late. I'm like, of course, fuck, I'm on CPT. <laughs> you should be too, fuck you. He's on time looking all Theo Huxtable and shit. He's got businesses going, fuck you, right? I'm not it. And then I heard his janky promotions. I was like, oh yeah. That's a black guy with janky promotions. That's what I'm getting picked up on. I understand. Fuck you. I hope I go somewhere. And if I do, I hope the pay's there. I hope it don't get janky on that side. He looks like he's got his shit together, but you never know, man. I've met a lot of these guys in my time. They were on the other side of the bars and everything, you know, but he's got a business and I appreciate you uh, giving me my time and everything, you know, out here. Once again, happy birthday to motherfucking Eric Young. Cheers, motherfucking man. Now, drink. This man needs a drink up here. Y'all crazy. He's going dry and it's his birthday still. Hey, man, my cousin gave you those fucking rims, homes. He's still in jail. What's up with that? <laughs> hey, what is this bro? That's my most not.
See, you know what? I, I, I'm like this because I'm an only child. I got no brothers, no sisters. Ah! Only child. It's cool being an only child, right? It's fucked up too. But your parents buy toys to take two kids to play with. Daddy gonna buy me a fucking walkie-talkie set. I got one in his hand and one in his hand. He give me motherfucking air hockey and shit like that, you know. <laughs> Who gonna give it back, daddy? I got a ball, a bat, and a glove. I got to hit, pitch, and catch my own shit. Run around the backyard like a goddamn fool. You learn how to be sneaky though. When you're only child, you learn how to be sneaky like a motherfucker. Gotta get away with shit without your mama catching you. Like jacking off and shit like that. <laughs> My mama never could catch me jacking off, but she used to always find my little nut rag laying around the house. <laughs> Every nigga in the new world, you know what a nut rag is? It's that t-shirt and sock under the bed. It's hard and crusty stuff to cut. You open up, sound like gun bro. Shout out to whoever's birthdays in the building and everybody else that's here that's supporting. Thank you. We want to thank y'all. 
We said y'all. Is that all right? Eric, you ain't shit. <laughs> ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> Eric, you smile too much to be a man, huh? <laughs> you ever seen a man that smile too much? Eric get off the plane the first day in Hollywood with me. I look at him I'm like, you dressed to impress, you ready? This motherfucker got a turtleneck on. Like, what the fuck you going with this turtleneck, motherfucker? It's a thousand degrees in LA. I'm like, what the fuck? You, two things in LA you can't have. You can't have a fucking turtleneck and a beanie on your dick. Oh, the laughs. Oh, yo, y'all know. How many of y'all fucked Eric out there? Y'all wanna talk about what's real? Who got in the bed with Eric? Tell the truth. Any jelly worm couldn't get it up. <laughs> just deal with me. Just work with me. Work with me. Just, just work with me. Maybe it's your perfume. Comes off the plane. First person he goes to see is Bishop Don Juan. I take him to Bishop Don Juan's crib. Is that all right? I told him, hey dude, do not look Bishop Don Juan in the eyes, dog. What does Eric do? Hi, Bishop. <laughs> Next thing I seen, I was like, Bishop, he ain't ready, man. Don't fucking do it. Bishop did this, changed clothes on him, he came back out. Hey, Eric Young. <laughs> What's the first thing you said? I don't want no picture with you, but I just want to take one. The funniest shit in the world. You ever seen a fucking male prostitute? You're looking at him. He's a man whore. You know what they should have named Eric as a child? Hmm. Who is this guy? Eric's a great dude, man. One of my greatest friends, man. We are one that... When you see us, we fuss, fight, we're brothers. If ain't nobody gonna beat up on them, I'ma do it. And I gotta beat up on you with this last joke, man. But then Ronald Reagan slaps you down. But then Dan Quayle shoes you down. You look like Obama with a skin tight face. You so ugly. Y'all ought to see this nigga bath water. It be black as shit, you can die bowling balls. This nigga teeth so yellow, you can flip them on the other side. Is it waves or them baby hairs? Now? Did y'all know Eric wear Mindy pins? We was in Walmart the other day, I seen him buy a whole diaper section. I was like, what you do? He'd be like, I'm leaking. <laughs> My coochie be getting wet. <laughs> I see Eric in the bathroom and shit, I was like, what's wrong, man? He's like, I gotta wipe myself, hold on. <laughs> you know Eric's nickname in Hollywood? <laughs> Girls gone wild. <laughs> Girls gone wild. <laughs> y'all enjoying yourself so far? <laughs> All right, man, I don't want to do a lot of time, man. I want to bring y'all a man of the hour, the birthday gift with whoever y'all came to see. Y'all know who y'all came to see, is that all right? Y'all see us all the time, man. We try to provide great shows, man. It's his birthday. We got a great show set up for him tonight. And we're going to keep it real gangsta and ghetto. Is that all right? Is that all right? All right, man. We're going to bring Big Sean back to the stage, and we're going to go ahead and proceed with the show. I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Show the love. Is that all right? And don't forget, after party at Blue Rock, you fucking with us. Danny. We got your cake, baby. We're gonna have some fun. Don't trip. Alright? Listen on my vibe, I'm trying to get some crap. Get some crap. Put it in my rock. Take it to the shit. Alright, man. Let's sit your monkey ass down somewhere. Out there. You know what? I ain't gonna dress that. Cause if you beat my ass, if I go to jail, you got to bail me out. Now, if you're headlining, start making some noise right now. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Let's do it right here. I'm a fan of this camp myself.
You see them on the next Friday as big.